All right, y'all, so uh, I previously just did a video talking about handheld and how the secret to handheld is weight, but there's a lot more that go into it. The whole reason I started that video is because I get bombarded with questions on, did you use a gimbal on this video? Most of the time it's a handheld video, which kind of blows my mind that people don't know the freaking difference. So I've never been on a professional film set. Uh, I don't work on Hollywood sets. I don't work on giant productions. I guess take uh, my advice with a grain of salt, whatever they say. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So tip one, like I said in the previous video, weight. You can see this is a pretty robust, but very compact, tight rig. I think this is maybe about like eight to nine pounds with everything on it. Some might think that's heavy. Uh, if you think that's heavy, work out. We'll get to that tip uh, towards the end. But yeah, wait, 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 wait. If you don't believe it, just go watch the previous video I did. I'll add a little link thing in it so you guys can check that one out, which is why I don't get why everybody is buying into this marketing on like super compact light uh, cinema cameras. Even with lens stabilization or sensor stabilization, it's not the same feeling. It's not the same uh, like look that we all pursue. So the weight leads into the second tip, gravity. If I'm trying to do a panning shot, this is what really throws people off where they start thinking I'm using a gimbal. Say if I have grass or something in the foreground, I will spread my legs as such. You see my rig is balanced, so I can hold it from the handle. It's not gonna tip forward, it's not gonna tip back. It's not gonna do side to side or anything like that. I could simply just do this and you see how smooth that is. And then in post, if I want it extra, extra smooth, I'll do post stabilization. I usually don't have to do that though. You can't do this on a light rig. There's not enough like density for the gravity to pull it down. You cannot get like that very stabilized handheld. I don't even know what you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. People will get pissed off when I call it something. Second tip, which is the opposite of that one, is contact points. The issue again with mirrorless cameras, people usually don't want to rig it out or use cages because it's a mirrorless camera. That's the whole point of hybrid video. This this is the point of rigging out a camera. You see, I have a point here. You see, I could try to hold it, but it's kind of heavy, so there's gonna be little, sh little shakes in there. Here's a second contact point, right? This could kind of work, semi-stable. Third contact point, you see, all of a sudden, it's way more stable now. I could do a lot more with it. If I'm trying to do like a medium height shot, I could do this. If I'm trying to get up higher, I could grab it like this, kind of rock it right here, look at my monitor up there. If you're trying to get a lower shot, I shoot low down a lot, like low up. Just put it right there in the leg. Look at that, super stable. And I could kind of use my body to pivot it too, or I could use my hand. You just want to increase your contact points. Last two tips here, I think we're on three or four. I don't even know, I lost count. Legs. A lot of the times I love doing like handheld kind of chasing down my subject kind of look. I just like the energy that it gives. Someone called in the last video saying that it's lazy uh, cinephotography. Uh, you, it's not lazy, it's a whole different kind of look. If I want a smooth look, I'll throw on the gimbal if I need it. I like adding energy to my shot, and so I will do shots like this usually. All in the legs. You can see how my legs bent as such, and I can run and keep my top pretty much steady there. I probably look stupid as f right now, but I start combining the tips. So again, I'm gonna do gravity, I'm gonna pivot it up. This is my control right there. So with my knees bent, I could pivot up like this. I could add another hand on the legs. So this comes to the final tip. Some of y'all might not like this tip, but um, exercise. I try to jump rope at least a few times a week. I take my dog out on hikes a lot and everything. It's all about cardio and also strength. I started doing squats and all of that. I do arm workouts, I do chest, core, everything. It don't look like I do, but I do. And that's all just so I can stay in shape. So when I do get booked and we're having 12 to 18 hour days, I'm not getting extremely exhausted and I can keep up. I want to make money. I want to make my vision come to life and I don't want my energy or my fitness to get in the way of that. So that's pretty much it guys. Kind of a short video, but uh, yeah. So Donna, anything you want to say? No? Okay, that's it. Peace.